We're in Borgo Panigale, in the Ducati Museum, the heart of our company. And it couldn't be otherwise, since today we are talking about sport. Sportiness and performance are in the DNA of our brand, whether we are talking about MotoGP or superbike races, a day on the track for amateurs or a day out on a mountain bike with friends. Sport is a way of life for us, it's a way of working. Today, we will tell you about different ways to experience sportiness according to Ducati. We will see the new e-mountain bikes, a new version of Supersport, which is an extremely enjoyable product both on the road and on the track. And we will see an evolved version of Panigale, the queen of our range. Let's see now the novelties of the 2021 Sporty range. Races have always been Ducati's inspiration for its super sport bikes. As everyone knows, sportiness is in our DNA in various forms. There is the most extreme one, Desmosedici, used in MotoGP races, then Panigale V4 and V2. And finally, we can have the one you can have fun with both on track and on the road. Here is the new Supersport 950. The Supersport 950 is the right bike to bring sporty riding into everyday life without having to make any compromises, especially in terms of comfort. It has a complete electronic suite, thanks to the introduction of the inertial unit. It is the Ducati that best combines sportiness and everyday road use. Ideal also for young people who want to approach the world of Supersport bikes. High handlebars for more control and a seat revised in terms of longitudinal roominess to maximize the comfort for riders of different heights. For 2021, the Supersport 950 acquires stylistic elements of the Panigale family. But to talk about its look, I leave the floor to Julian Clement, who designed it. When we started designing the entry model of the Ducati Sports range, we wanted to create a very strong link with the model that most represents the sportiness of the brand, the Panigale V4. The fairings have been completely redesigned to accentuate the sportiness of the bike and the fluidity of the shapes. The air vents from the water cooler are inspired by the double extractor of the Panigale V4 models, but have been revised in a slightly less racing but more elegant form. They end with a panel that closes on the frame to accentuate the tight feel on the sides. The lower part now extends to the side silencer, hiding the mechanics and visually reminiscent of track bikes. The fairings connect the tank through two muscular shoulders around the trellis frame that make the whole motorcycle body more compact. This connection integrates an internal channel which, starting from the air inlets on the sides of the headlight, brings fresh air to the rider's legs in order to improve thermal comfort while riding. The front view is completely redefined thanks to a new full LED headlight supported by two fins and flanked by air inlets that widen the view. The DRL, made with an opal screen that diffuses the light homogeneously, clearly recalls the sharp luminous signature of the Panigale V4. The headlight is equipped with two two-function LED modules, beam and high beam, and this allows a symmetrical view in all light switching modes. The modules are inserted in the frame with a brilliant finish that gives this technological component the preciousness of a jewel. We have redesigned the padding on the seat to increase roominess and riding comfort. 
The upholstery uses a new sporty fabric enriched with visible stitching and an aesthetic pattern on the sides of the passenger seat. Since the handlebars are obviously higher and more comfortable than those of a super sport bike, the space they occupy while steering didn't allow us to create a classic sporty headlight fairing. We use this constraint to create a new concept and design the cockpit area. The headlight fairing goes underneath the instrument panel to frame it and create a bridge connecting it to the tank. The use of colors also on the bridge is particularly appreciated while riding. This is the same concept we find on the Multistrada V4. The tank is narrow in the connecting area with the seat to offer good ergonomics. At the front, the shoulders widen to create a diamond shape typical of Ducati sports bikes. The exhaust system is made of two cylindrical pipes in brushed aluminium. A Krapovich type approved slip-on exhausts are available in the performance catalogue. After having imagined and followed the development of a bike for so many months, the best thing is to be able to saddle up and try it. I have personally very much appreciated its beautiful balance of sportiness to be used on the road combined with AD riding position that allows covering long distances without getting tired. The Supersport 950 has the genetic makeup of a true sports bike and its features declare it openly. Single-sided swinging arm of clear racing derivation, trellis frame fixed to the engine, which acts as a stressed member to reduce weight and overall dimensions. Sporty ergonomics with raised handlebars to maximize control even when riding with a passenger. The seat has been revised to maximize rider comfort by allowing more longitudinal movement, especially on long distances. Multi-adjustable suspensions and three-spoke Y-shaped aluminium rims. Pirelli Diablo Rosso three tires, excellent on dry surfaces but really high performing on wet asphalt. Radial brake and clutch master cylinders and high-performance Brembo braking system with two generously sized 320mm front discs. Truly sporty dry weight, 184 kilograms. The electronics is one of the areas most affected by the development of the Supersport 950. We have introduced a new full LED symmetrical headlight with DRL daytime running lights. Then, a new 4.3-inch color TFT instrument panel, inspired by Panigale Graphics, was created. This instrument panel is the ideal interface to display all the information related to the use of the bike, such as the three riding modes, sport, touring and urban, which give a variety of controls for power levels and throttle management, differentiated according to the riding mode selected. The new Supersport 950 features the latest generation of electronic driving aids like ABS cornering, traction control, wheelie control, quick shifter, all aimed at maximizing safety during road and track sporting use. By the way, I remember the fantastic performance achieved during the ABS tests in terms of deceleration. I remember the deceleration peaks of 11 meters per square second when braking from 150 to zero. This resulted in a reduction of stopping distances and the improvement of active safety for the rider. But how was this possible thanks to the implementation of the inertial unit that acts as an observer of the vehicle? It provides, in fact, all the information on the dynamics of the bike in real time, in particular on how it moves with respect to the six axes, that is, if it is accelerating, decelerating, if it is moving on the yaw angle, or if it is leaning to left or right, and we also know of how many degrees. All this information is processed by our control units that manage traction control, ABS cornering, and wheelie control, creating a sort of safety net that improves performance and helps the rider in case of error. The interventions that have affected the fairing have not only been of an aesthetic nature, but have seen also the creation of new ducts to direct fresh air to the rider's legs, thus improving thermal comfort, and new slits to divert the hot air from the engine to the outside. 
so as to keep the rider in a still air bubble at a pleasant temperature, all assisted by an adjustable height screen. Twin cylinder engine with classic Ducati L-shaped architecture, Desmodronic timing system, Testa stretta 11 degrees, four valves per liquid cooled cylinder, hydraulically operated clutch and radial master cylinder. The Testa stretta 11 degrees now complies with Euro 5 regulations. It's perfect for sporty road riding, with 80% torque already available at 3,500 RPM. Great torque that helps to get out of the curve even in case of gear selection error, and great control at low speed. There will also be a 35 kilowatt version for those approaching a sports Ducati for the first time. The Supersport 950 is available with red colouring and, for those who want a more refined chassis, there is the S version in Ducati red and matte white. The Supersport 950 S is equipped with fully adjustable Olin suspension with a generously sized 48mm fork. This suspension increases the rider's feel, offering great support and stability in sport riding, both on track and on the road characterizing our Supersport 950S in an even sportier way. In addition, the Supersport 950S is equipped with a seat cover which makes it a single-seater, giving it an even sportier look. The Supersport 950 is a bike that is very easy to ride. The feedback that comes to the rider is very sporty. As well as the stability of the front end that offers great confidence to the rider, also to those who want to try their hand at sport riding on the track for the first time and experience the thrill of the knee on the ground. But with this bike, you can do much more. Just look how much fun we had on the track. Pedal-assisted mountain bikes, better known as e-mountain bikes, are becoming increasingly popular across the board. Same strong emotions derived from a sense of escape, freedom and adrenaline. We at Ducati have been fascinated by this product. This is why in 2019 we undertook this adventure with the expert support of Italian partner Thok e-bikes, with whom we share the same values, such as the search for uncompromising performance. In collaboration with Thok e-bikes and designer Aldo Drudi, we have developed two proposals. Let us find out about them together, starting with the MIG S. Thanks to its 150mm of travel at the front and 140mm at the rear, this all-mountain is able to explore any trail and guarantees the rider excellent rideability. 
After the success achieved during its first year on the market, for 2021, the Ducati MiG S has confirmed it will be equipped with a Shimano Steps E8000 engine and will undergo some important technical updates. Let us have a look at them in detail. With the new integrated 630 watt per hour Shimano battery, range is increased by about 26% positioned underneath the down tube, as well as being easy to remove, it ensures optimal weight distribution, ensuring stability and easy handling. The new aluminium frame geometry provides the MiG S with even more riding comfort, traction and control on the most advanced routes. The new Pirelli Scorpion S tires have been developed specifically for mountain bikes, with a specific structure to support greater weight and heavier use. The MiG S is synonymous with versatility beyond all expectations, in all conditions, both uphill and downhill. Test your skills by discovering your limits and overcome them during every new ride. This is Enduro, a fantastic sport that allows you to train, get involved and reach fantastic places surrounded by nature. The latest generation of Enduro EMTB bikes makes the way up as exciting as the descent, delivering the best off-road experience. The TK01RR is pure performance, ready to let you experience those emotions that the e-enduro can give you. The new Shimano EP8 engine, weighing 2.6 kilograms, is now among the lightest and most compact in its category. The maximum torque has been increased to 85 newtons per meter, with a maximum servo assistance ratio of 400%. The torque is always delivered with maximum fluidity and naturalness. The EP8 system, combined with the new Shimano eTube project app, allows advanced levels of customization to adapt the operation of the motor to your needs. The new aluminium frame features a vertical down tube that houses an integrated Shimano 630 watt per hour battery, thus ensuring good range without sacrificing the handling given by a low center of gravity. The geometries of the TK01RR are definitely oriented to the most extreme e-enduro. The introduction of the new head tube standard, 1.8 tapered, allows a new design and style, but above all, greater rigidity in the steering area. Very important when doing the most difficult and demanding routes at top speeds. The lowered standover, in addition to improving the maneuverability of the bike, offers the possibility of mounting a telescopic seat post of up to 170 mm for sizes L and XL. The TK01RR is equipped with high-end components, such as the Shimano XT12 speed drive and brakes. This four-piston braking system, in combination with 203mm discs with ICE technology cooling function, guarantees braking that is always powerful and modular. For the TK01RR, we wanted a muscular fork, which could guarantee maximum steering precision and extensive customization options. With the brand new Olin's RXF 38 180mm stroke, we have achieved this goal. In addition, the 170mm Olin's TTX shock absorber guarantees excellent downhill progressiveness without compromising the bike's pedaling performance. Ducati TK01RR, an e-enduro model with the latest technical solutions, ready to satisfy every rider on the most difficult trails.
The track is my natural environment. But today, in order to talk about the Panigale V4, I am at the company's Physics in Motion, the interactive didactic laboratory dedicated to students, teachers and enthusiasts from all over the world who want to understand how the laws of physics influence the dynamics of motorcycling. The Panigale V4 is Ducati's sports bike par excellence, with a design derived directly from MotoGP. The Desmosedici Stradale inherits from its racing sister the 90-degree V4 layout, twin pulse firing timing and counter-rotating shaft. It combines the typical torque of a mid-range twin cylinder and the power in the high rev range of a pure four-cylinder. The streamlined package also comes from MotoGP. The wings generate a vertical load on the front wheel of 9 kilos at 150 kilometers per hour, 26 at 250 kilometers per hour, and even 37 at 300 kilometers per hour. This allows us not to cut power during acceleration, thanks to a higher wheelie limit, and to have more feedback on the front end in all riding phases. The dry weight of the Panigale V4 is 174 kilos. Like racing bikes, the Panigale V4 is improving every year to be faster and faster on track. For 2021, the Panigale is Euro 5 type approved for countries that require it. And thanks to the great work of our engineers, we can guarantee the same weight and performance level as the previous Euro 4. The electronic package has been evolved using the latest innovations from Ducati Corse. Ducati traction control is now even more predictive. The system continuously monitors the angular acceleration of the crankshaft and the rear wheel speed, reconstructing the torque so as to avoid sudden slippage when the throttle reopens with the bike leaning at the center of the curve. This translates into a more neutral cornering behavior and a better feel for the rider. The riding mode strategy is also evolving. The riding mode race is now split to instantly adapt to different riding styles and circuits. The riding mode race A is developed for experienced riders who want to exploit the full potential of the bike on high grip circuits and very smooth surfaces. With the riding mode race B, the rider can count on all the power available from the engine but with reduced torque compared to race A in first, second and third gear. The riding mode race B makes the bike more manageable during long track sessions on circuits with characteristics that favor long distances or characterized by irregular or low grip surfaces. The Panigale V4 has excellent performance and allows for incredible lap times. This is confirmed by the specialized press all over the world, but also by our MotoGP and Superbike riders. In fact, our riders routinely use the Panigale V4 to train during the track days that many of you attend, simply equipped with Ducati performance components. We see them on social networks and they have a great time. At the end of the day, they always give us their feedback, which we then re-elaborate together with the internal development team in order to improve the performance of the bike on the track. Performance for professionals, but especially for those who go on the track for pure fun. Hence, the idea of a new version of the Panigale V4 for 2021, a new product that maximizes performance on the track for non-professional riders. Here is the Panigale V4 SP.
The Panigale V4SP was born to make non-professional riders go faster, even faster than the Panigale V4R. But why? The 1100 engine has more mid-range torque and does not need to be used up to the limiter. For this reason, even if you make a mistake in the choice of the gear, you still go fast out of the curve. The lightweight carbon rims make the bike incredibly easy to handle. Olin Smart EC suspensions adapt in real time to different riding situations. They allow for a softer and less demanding basic setting and only stiffen up when it's really necessary. SP, the historic initials, are back on a Sport Ducati to guarantee exclusive outfit and excellent performance. The Panigale V4 SP is numbered and the number is shown on the fully machined steering head. It is a bike designed and developed for the track. That's why we chose the typical livery of the winter tests of our official MotoGP and Superbike teams, revised by the Ducati Style Center. Exposed brushed aluminium tank, matte black fairings, enriched with fluorescent red details and carbon components such as wings and front mudguard. The Panigale V4 SP is fitted with an SDM EVO Superbike drive clutch, which offers several advantages. Greater slipper effect, even with the most aggressive downshift, typical of track use. Great fluidity in all riding phases, with closed throttle and possibly to customize the mechanical engine brake, thanks to the replacement of secondary springs available in the Ducati Performance catalog. In addition, the engine oil remains cleaner because the impurities from the friction material of the clutch do not enter the lubrication circuit. The Panigale V4 SP, the iconic Ducati Superbike racing sound. The carbon rims of the Panigale V4 SP are 1.4 kilos lighter than those of the Panigale V4 S, thus also reducing the overall weight of the vehicle. But the biggest advantage they offer is the reduction of unsprung weight. The effect most felt by the rider is the reduction of the moment of inertia, thanks to the concentration of mass in the wheel hub and the consequent lower gyroscopic effect to which the vehicle is subjected. All this translates into less riding effort, thanks to the remarkable handling, and into the reduction of the effort and of the tendency to close the throttle line. In other words, I'm talking about the mid-cornering phase, when you begin to accelerate and the bike tends to tighten the line on its own. This is a feature I love so much about the Panigale SP. The Panigale V4 SP is equipped with Brembo Stylema R calipers, MCS 19-21 master cylinder with remote adjuster. This is a very high quality braking system. The newly treated pistons and cooling holes improve braking in terms of power and consistent performance, in addition to keeping the lever stroke stable during prolonged sessions on the track. MCS master cylinder with variable lever ratio that allows the rider to choose the desired response in terms of stroke and effort. Equipped with remote adjuster, which is a must for the track. The Panigale V4 SP is equipped with Rizomo fully adjustable foot pegs in anodized aluminium to adopt to the ergonomics of each rider and maximize ground lighting for track use. The 520 chain is therefore narrower, reducing weight and sliding friction. The SP is equipped with a racing kit for track use that allows you to remove rear view mirrors, number plate holder and has the clutch cover open. The Panigale V4 SP has 214 horsepower and an impressive torque of 12.6 kilograms. The weight is only 173 kilos and the Desmo service is required at 24,000 kilometers. The Panigale range for 2021 is now complete. Panigale V4, Panigale V4S and Panigale V4 SP, the most performing bike for non-professional riders on the track. And for those who want to experience unique sensations on a Euro 4 type approved bike and emotions truly comparable to MotoGP, there is Superleggera V4 234 horsepower dry weight of 152 kilos. Bye everyone, see you on the track.